What would life look like if you lived in a treehouse surrounded by mountains in Chiang Mai? It would look a little something like this. Welcome to Chai Lai Orchard. Oh my god. <gasps> yeah, we're staying at an Airbnb where an elephant just passed us by. I think this little treehouse thing is ours. Is it? Is she going in there? Yeah. I'm probably doing this wrong. Oh wait, ta-da! Okay, so this is a little balcony thing that we have. A few moments later. So the whole night we had a little guard. Dog sleeping outside. Do you see him? Oh my god. Hi, good morning. Thanks for guarding us last night. So he's been sleeping outside for the worth the whole night. All right, I'm gonna get you back to sleep. I should go back to sleep as well. It's early so. Just when you thought this place couldn't get better, we're about to get a massage done. Getting a massage right here. This is so cute. Hello. Our cute little guard dog decided to protect me while I was having a little photo shoot. Oh my gosh, he's such a mush mush. We're about to leave. We're about to leave in about half an hour to Chiang Mai, old city. But I think my biggest regret for this place was not booking two, three days or a week. Um, we stayed here just for a day because I wanted to experience this place and it is everything I expected it to be. My eyebrows are a little messy. If you guys have the opportunity to come to this orchard, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is absolutely serene. Our massages were perfect. I was like, I felt like butter. I felt like a little seaweed. Just can you see my seaweed dance? Like a little seaweed drifting across. Anyways, but it was awesome. The ladies knew what they were doing. And unfortunately, we're about to now leave. No, no, unfortunately, we're going to Old City. So let's see what awaits us there. tiny room in this hostel to keep our stuff and sleep at night. We weren't planning on staying indoors at all, so this place was perfect for us. Please make sure to leave your shoes outside in the shoe rack. I don't think shoes are allowed inside. The view from this hostel is pretty breathtaking. They had a bar and pool, which of course I forgot to shoot. All right, so we are at the Night Bazaar in Chiang Mai. And I, this is the first time I'm trying to make Tom Yum Gong. So it's a Tom Yum soup, but it has shrimp, and these shrimp are huge. Let me take one out and show you guys. Do you see this? It's like a sea monster. Okay, it's hot. But I'm gonna give this, and I got rice with it because I feel like I needed something on the side. So that's that has a little bit of the soup in it. I didn't get any of the lemongrass. Let me grab some lemongrass. It's not gonna come. just the soup as is. I tried it with the rice. Oh yes. If you have a clogged nose, this is this is the place to go for a nice clogged nose. Oh my god, do I see lychee wine? <gasps> I am getting lychee wine no matter what. 
Okay, so like I said, I was gonna get some lychee wine. I'm happy it's white wine because I'm a white wine girl. Pinky out. Let's take a test. It's beautiful aftertaste for lychee. This is so good. And lychee is basically my favorite fruit. I can't talk. Bon appetit. Or cheers. <laughs> So I know you can't tell what flavor I got, but I got coconut flavor, and I got mango on top of that, I got Kit Kat, and I got um, chocolate syrup everywhere. I don't know if this combination is going to work, and I drank a bit too much lychee wine, so let's see. Alright, so I got a little shards of this. Oh, I forgot the cookout. Hold up. The coconut ice cream is really good. <clears throat> but I really wish that the mango wasn't frozen because the mango is... That didn't do justice. There's something so addictive about traveling. It's like hunting for lost treasure, except in my case, for memories. Oh, and let's not forget delicious food. I hope you guys enjoy my little adventures. Please like, comment, and subscribe.